mean, it is just amazing. You made the Olympic nice team at 17 years old. Like, has that sunken in yet? <laughs> yeah. Um, it has now, now that I've gone back to training and being able just to dial in and get ready for the Olympics. Um, after the trials, I had a week off to spend some time with my family and share this experience with them because they're a part of this journey as well. I wouldn't be here without them. So super nice just, you know, sit back and relax a little bit and just share this with them. Tyler, I know David Bedaya is a diver that you looked up to leading up into your diving career. What was it like to get his rings? It was, it felt like it wasn't real. Like that's how I explain it. Um, looking up to him um, and then attending Purdue in the fall and going to have him as a mentor and uh, now uh, a new assistant coach is going to be an amazing opportunity and I'm gonna learn a lot from David. I'm glad you brought up going to Purdue in the fall. Obviously, you know this. Uh, Purdue produces a lot of Olympic caliber divers. You know, what will it like? What will it be like after going to the Olympics, heading into that amazing group of uh, Olympic divers that that go there? Uh, the Purdue family is really welcoming, and everyone. Everyone just loves each other. You know, we all support each other. We're all there. We're all there to do the same job. Um, and I'm really excited to share that with them and being able to train uh, up to uh, Paris in 2024 and hopefully share being able to be on the team with them. Going back to what we were saying about David Badaya, what was it like, you know, obviously growing up, looking up to him, but then competing against him? That was super cool. Uh, I've only competed against David uh, a couple of times, uh, like a senior nationals, um, but I wasn't at the caliber I am at now. Um, I've definitely improved and all the other divers definitely improved. It was an amazing competition being able to just see all these um, experienced divers have done all of these meets. They know how it works. They know how all the mental training, they, are, they already know all of that. Um, I still had to learn a little bit um, and diving against them, like seeing they're just amazing. Everyone was amazing in the competition. <clears throat> and so I really just wanted to put on a show and just be able just to have fun. What did he say to you after you won three meter at the Olympic trials and made Team USA? Um, he gave me a hug and I, I just started crying. I couldn't hold it in and then, um, I heard him start crying. He was like, congrats. He's like, you did it. And he was just, it was just an insane moment. Tyler, now that we're, gosh, just a few weeks away from the Olympics, I mean, time flies, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Where's your headspace right now? You know, where are you mentally and physically heading into the Olympic games? Uh, mentally and physically, I'm doing really well. Um, I'm going into the games just thinking it as every other meet that I've done. Um, no expectations. Um, I've made it to the Olympic Games. I've done all that work, uh, taken a lot of work, and now I'm at the games, and now I'm just going to enjoy it and do my best. Yeah, the work has been done. You know, diving is, is all about muscle memory and, and uh, just keeping the headspace clear. Yes. So just relax and, and let it happen, right? Yeah. So Tyler, obviously during the pandemic, um, you did whatever you did to stay sharp. You know, it put you over the edge, your training, your dedication, your passion, even though the world was shut down. Take us through what you did during the pandemic. Um, so when everything shut down, um, John gave us very brief instruction on what to uh, stay with, uh, like flexibility, core strength, um, and we would actually take ma our mattresses and put them outside and do flips onto them just so we had just kept staying with that. Um, so it was definitely hard not being able to just be in the pool and be and just um, stay with it. Um, it was definitely difficult coming back and trying to get used to all that again, you know, diving onto your hands, um, all the specific detail work that you need. Um, but we 
quickly got back into it um, when COVID settled down a little bit. John was able to uh, open up our dry land and a little bit of our pool out of the day so we could uh, get a few dives in. Uh, that was nice. Um, as much as COVID um, hurt a lot of families in the world, uh, it definitely was also a blessing. It gave me, not only me, but every other diver more time to get prepared and improve uh, for the 2021 trials. I'm so glad you, you mentioned more time because I wanted to talk to you about that, that one year delay. You know, how was that a, a benefit for you? Because some may view it as, oh man, I, you know, I was ready a year ago and, and now I've, I'm not. Yeah. It was the opposite for you. Why yeah. is that? Um, I feel like I was able to uh, get more strength and get more uh, repetition into the pool so I can stay more consistent. Um, I definitely think that year of training helped with that and uh, it showed at the trial. So um, it all worked. Tyler, it's so exciting to sit here with you at 17. I believe you're going to be 18 soon though, right? Yes, less than a month. Yes, in July. Less than a month, you'll be 18. Um, so yeah. your career is, is just the very beginning. You know, what are your goals for the future? Um, I'm definitely uh, going into Purdue. Um, I definitely want to, you know, uh, do well for Purdue, you know, NCAAs, all the college dual meets. Those are going to be uh, fun. And I'm ready for those um, just to see my friends again that we're all, you know, kind of shifting away from the junior events and finally competing as college athletes um, and to start school. Um, I think it, I'm ready for it again. I'm ready to get back into the classroom. Um, online school was a little difficult, um, just adapting to the new environment of not really having teachers and classmates to help you. It was more individual work. Uh, so I'm ready for that. And then uh, to train for the 2024 Olympic Games and hopefully the 2028 Olympic Games. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Tyler. And I've, I've no doubt you'll you'll reach those goals. Do you know what you want Thank to study? Uh, I am majoring in pre chiropractic. Awesome. Yeah. I know this is so far ahead and, and way in the future, but how do you hope to become an ambassador of the sport of diving? How do you hope to always have the sport with you? Because it never goes away, right? I was a yeah. former diver and here I am, right? Yeah. It never goes away. Um, it's definitely cool right now, just being so young and, you know, having all my friends, you know, my age and uh, hopefully aspiring younger divers that they can do the exact same thing as me. Um, I think that's really special. And I, I hold that really deep in my heart. And in the future, being able to share the stories and the experiences and the sacrifices that I had to uh, go through just to achieve this dream, um, you know, um, it's not just me, but my coaches, my family, my friends, the fans, everybody, they're all there to support you and you need to use them. You're not only inspiring other divers, you inspire me, you know, and, I, and I'm 10 years older than you. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff Tyler um I know the USA diving campaign champions forged in water how has diving impacted your life in the best light um with all of the mental training I've done uh to stay self-motivated um because you're the only one on the diving board no one else is no one else is in your head. No one else knows what's going on in your head. Um, so being able to stay motivated and being able to have so much composure, I think really helps. Um, it also helps with my uh, schoolwork throughout high school, being self-motivated because it was just me on my laptop um, and doing all this homework. Um, it was hard to stay with it, but I feel like um, everything that was given to me uh, really, really helped out with that. In a matter of weeks, your life is going to change for the better forever, right? The Olympic Games and then Purdue. Yeah. How, how are you feeling, Tyler? I'm really excited. Um, you know, I'm only 17, but it's taken a lot of work to get where I am. Um, and it feels like I've been diving for like ever, you know, it's been 12 years. 
Um, so just looking back at everything, it, it makes it even more special.